Hey guys, it's Josh, and today I just want to show you my TIE Silencer Mock, which is from Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. And I apologize in, a, in advance for such a crude setup, because I'm really busy with a lot of things right now. And I just made this model in my spare time, wanting to uh, make some improvements, as well as get the model in my hands without having to buy the set, because I feel like the set's not really worth it. Not really worth it, but um, this will be just a quick look at the modifications and uh, techniques I've used to achieve the look of the TIE silencer. So without talking too much, let's get right into the model. So while LEGO did a very good job making the TIE silencer as accurate as possible with least amount of pieces, I thought that I could do better with the cockpit design because it wasn't angled quite as nice as I expected it to be in the set, but in this case, I've used the TIE Fighter top to open up uh, for Kylo Ren to sit inside, and I'll show you from the top later how he fits in, but just to show you guys um, what I mean, I've used the transparent red to create that sort of um, trapezium looking cockpit, and that was one of the main improvements that I wanted to do with this um, model. Another thing of note is the side panels here because the coloration in the LEGO set wasn't quite accurate as um, to the final design in the model because LEGO didn't really have a say in that. It was mostly um, prototype photos that they were shown to make the LEGO model, so no blaming there. And also the engine was the final detail. As you can see, I used trans red here as well to make it more prominent, whereas in the LEGO set, you couldn't really see the engines because they were so in... Um, so far into the model, so um, I'll show you all of this in just a moment. Here's the look at the cockpit. As you can see, I've put Kylo Ren in there, but I can just remove him right now to show you what it's like. I'll take off the uh, red glass on top, and you can see there are two joysticks and one stickered piece there. For its controls, there's the joystick. And I was actually, there was a lot of coincidences in designing this cockpit because there are many things that I didn't intend at first such as the joysticks but they just so happened to have two studs free for me to use in the design so I was lucky with that as well as this modification I added so you can put his cross guard lightsaber clip it onto the bottom of the ship now for all of the stability of the ship I had to sacrifice the spring shooters but that's okay because I wasn't gonna play with this model I was intending it to be more of a um, collector's item or even just a display model. So all of that looks all right. And the real structural engineering behind this is Technic beams here, and then one that connects both of them that goes through the center fuselage, which is why I had to take away a lot of space for the spring shooters. My final modification were the uh, wingtip laser cannons. This was important because I didn't want the stud, sh um, not stud shooters, the foot fire missile pieces because they were in grey. So I swapped them out for Technic parts, which was pretty simple. But all in all, um, everything is mostly kept similar to the original set. So that's basically it for my take on the TIE silencer. All in all, it's pretty similar to the LEGO set, but I thought I'd show you guys um, the differences. To, uh, to the actual model that I, I have in mind. And this is a really cool ship. I really like the design, really like the size of this thing. And uh, I try to keep that accurate to the Lego set so that I know the proportions. And um, a lot of people are complaining because they're like, oh, this is just Darth Vader's TIE Advanced mixed with a TIE Interceptor. And then they're like, oh, they're so unoriginal. The Last Jedi is gonna suck. Well, people were talking about the prequel saying they were too different to the original. So make up your damn mind, people. Anyways, I'm very happy about this mock and I'm very excited for the movie. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comments and uh, of course you can hit me up on Instagram at Legological so you can t tell me what you think about this and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video as well. I'm gonna apologize again for not making as many videos as I used to but you know sometimes when you grow up and life starts to hit you hard you gotta sacrifice some other time so i hope you guys understand that but without talking too much i am of course i hope you like this video i'll see you guys whenever i have the chance bye